homies, welcome back to another DIY Saturday. And today I have a really awesome DIY that I'm so excited to share with you guys. I actually completed it last week and I just couldn't wait to edit the video and show you guys. So today, drum roll please. We are going to be making flash tattoos. They're these really awesome temporary tattoos that has a metallic finish to them. It's just very flashy. This is going to be my third day wearing it. And so far it's looking really good. I'm assuming that it might make maybe last about a week. Obviously exfoliating is gonna make it come off a lot faster, but so far so good. Very happy with the results. So yeah, no more chit chatting about this. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in and show you guys how to make these awesome flash tattoos. So the first thing you're going to need is tattoo paper. This was actually the first time I've used tattoo paper. At first I thought I bought the wrong kind, but turns out I just didn't know how to use it. Sometimes they go by the name water transfer stickers. They do come in clear and also with a white background. For this tutorial, you will need a clear background tattoo transfer paper. So the first thing you're gonna do is print out a bunch of random shapes. And I do have a couple of shape templates that's uploaded on my blog. So you guys can just print those out and use those instead of having to search for your own. So I'm going to show you the harder one out of the two just because I think we need to get that one out of the way. To give your DIY tattoos that metallic finish, you're going to have to use gold or silver leaf. The really cool thing about these leaves is that they can be used for any craft project and I think they're just absolutely beautiful. So a really quick disclaimer, gold leaves are very finicky. They're thin, they rip very easily. So you have to not have air conditioning or have a fan running while you're working on this project and try to keep your breathing to a minimum. But what you're gonna do is you will need to transfer some of the patterns onto a piece of transfer paper. And I'm going to just tape over the sides just to keep it stable so that it's not shifting around so much while I'm cutting it out. And I'm just gonna use an X-Acto knife to really cut out the shapes. Make sure that you press really hard on the X-Acto knife to really dig into the tracing paper and the gold leaf and really cut out every single part of that shape, even all the corners. If a corner is not cut out, it's going to ruin your life. Actually, no, it's just gonna be really difficult to remove the tracing paper and the gold leaf. So now we're gonna go ahead and switch on over to the tattoo paper. If you buy the tattoo paper in the pack, it's going to come with two pieces. The first one is the sticky adhesive. That's the one with the clear film on it. We're gonna set that one aside for a little bit. But the second piece is a glossy transfer paper. It looks like just photo paper. What we're gonna do is you're going to take a fan brush. I like to just rub the fan brush onto my hair a little bit to create some static. It will help pick up the gold leaf a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the gold leaf and just move it over onto the glossy paper. At this point, very very carefully and gently flatten the gold leaf onto the paper and just brush out and smooth out the edges. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and take the other part of the tattoo paper, cut out a piece that fits around that shape. You're going to peel the clear film away from the adhesive. You're going to place that clear film on top of your shape. And lastly, you're going to cut around the pattern. Don't cut right onto the shape, but I just leave a little extra around it. This way it'll stick to the skin a little bit better and it'll last a little bit longer on the skin. So once I'm ready to apply it to the skin, what you're gonna do is just remove the clear film one more time. Take the tattoo and face it downwards onto the skin. And just with a wet cotton ball, go ahead and apply some water to the backing of the tattoo. As you're applying the water to the backing, it's going to loosen up the backing and you can easily peel that off and you'll be revealed with a really pretty metallic pattern. I know that cutting out the shapes can be a really big pain in the butt. So I decided to come up with something that is a little bit easier for you guys if you're not as meticulous as I am. This time around, you're going to 
take the glossy paper from your tattoo pack. I'm going to print my patterns onto the glossy part of the paper. Now I'm going to take my fan brush and just rip out a couple pieces of the gold leaf and apply it to the star. When you're doing this, it doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure that you keep the gold or the silver within the black lines. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the second tattoo paper with the clear adhesive and I'm going to cut out a little square that matches up to the star. Remove the film from that clear adhesive and I place the film right on top of the star. And lastly, you're just gonna go ahead and cut out the star. This time around, I didn't really halo it as much. I kind of cut on the lines a little bit more because the black part of the star will really stick to the skin. To apply it to the skin, I make sure that the area of application is nice and clean. I face the tattoo down onto the skin. I add a little bit of water using a wet cotton ball. And once you reveal the tattoo, you're gonna see that it's an outline of the star with a really cool metallic finish in the inside of the star. This method is obviously a lot easier because you're not cutting out really delicate shapes with gold leaves you're just you know painting on the gold leaf into the patterns and for me personally I think a mix of the second method and the first method will give you a really cool unique design on your wrist and so that's it that's my DIY version of flash tattoos I think these are so cool they just look amazing you don't have to wear any accessories in the morning you wake up and you already have an arm party on your hand one last tip I gotta give you guys is that if you see a couple of corners lifting up or even right after applying the tattoo what you can do is use liquid bandage to to apply it onto the tattoo to really seal everything down. Little corners can be a little finicky, they can lift up really quickly, so just apply a little bit of liquid bandage to it and it will last quite a long time. That's my DIY for flash tattoos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. If you're gonna try this out, be sure to send me a photo with the hashtag S-L-O-A-B-N-D-I-Y. You can send it to my Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I would love to check out your DIY and I would love to share it with others as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will talk to you guys later and remember to rock on slow beast. Bye!